I'm Lizzie Rayford. And I'm Kim Cowan. Welcome to the first edition of NBC News. Voulez-vous danser à moi ce soir? Lizzie, what are you doing? We're on air right now. Kim, I just spent the most romantic evening in Paris. Well, I don't know about romantic, but I was there too. An evening in Paris was the theme of this year's homecoming 2004, and boy was it fun. Laura Whittington has a wrap-up of this year's homecoming events. Hit it, Laura! or making jerseys helps to support either your favorite football player or the entire Eagle football team. Boys, paint your bodies with permission, and girls, you can paint your faces.
reality TV show called Pimp My Ride? Yeah, it's the one about how a really junky car gets made into a really cool car. Sarah Downs and Ainsley Fields have the story that will officially pimp your ride. Sarah, Sarah, guess what I forgot to tell you? What? Can he finally ask me out? Oh my god, you're going with him in that? If he plans to take me out, he's going to have to do better than this. Class 10 Etc. is a popular place in Alexandria to customize your vehicle. Pimping your ride involves hard work that is often overlooked. Here are just a few examples for you to pimp your ride. Money can interfere with pimping your ride, but there are various places you can check out to accommodate your cost. God, when is he going to come get me? Wow, now that's more likely. Man, reconstructing your car takes a lot of time, but it is well worth it in the end. I'm Ainsley Fields. And I'm Sarah Dell. Back to you guys in the studio. That was really cool, but doesn't racking your pipes use a lot of gas? Yeah, it really does, and gas is almost $2 a gallon now. Sophia Tompkins and Renee Bouquet have some tips on how to make the most of a tank of gas. Holy moly, Renee, look at those gas prices! Because of the war in Iraq and other economical problems, gas prices have skyrocketed. Our gas prices have increased by approximately 10% in the past few months. Here are a few ways to save money and get Don't the Don't start and stop gas. the engine needlessly. Idling the engine for one minute consumes the same amount of gas as when you start the engine. Buy gasoline during the coolest time of day. Early morning or late evening is best. During these times, gasoline is densest. Avoid filling the gas tank to the top. Never fill the gas tank past the first click of the fuel nozzle. Keep the windows closed when traveling at high speeds. Open windows cause air drag, reducing your mileage by 10%. Avoid rough roads whenever possible because dirt or gravel rob you of up to 30% of your gas mileage. Car pulls reduce travel monotony and gas expense. All riders should chip in to help you buy. We hope these tips will help you stretch your tank. I'm Renee Bouquet. And I'm Sophie Tompkins. Back to you guys in the studio! Wow, that was helpful. Now this Halloween, I can go trick-or-treating with my spirited friends in my pimped-out car that has a full tank of gas. So, you're going trick-or-treating? Yeah, a bunch of us are going to get candy. You know, Lizzie, candy isn't the only thing Halloween is about. It started out as a pagan holiday where people actually thought that the dead were going to come back to haunt them. Oh, sounds scary. John DeVille and I have a story about how Halloween got started. Many Menard students are trick-or-treating this year, but do they know why we trick-or-treat? Kim and I did some research to find out the history of trick-or-treating. 2,000 years ago, the Celts celebrated the New Year on November the 1st. They believed spirits rose from the dead October 31st, the night before a new year. In A.D. 43, the Romans prayed to Pomona, the goddess of fruit and trees, to symbolize the fruitfulness of their new year to come. Poor citizens would go door to door begging for food. Rich families would then give them food and money in return for prayers of the dead relatives. Americans spend $6.9 billion a year, making Halloween the second largest commercial holiday. Well, John, this is the last house. What do you think? I think so. 
I'm Kim Cowan. And I'm John DeVille. Back, Back to, to you guys, guys in the, the studio. studio. Well, Menard, that about wraps things up for this edition of NBC News. I'm Kim Cowan. And I'm Lizzie Rayford. Have a safe and happy Halloween. And stay tuned for the bloopers. Look at producer fish. Okay, ready? Yeah, One. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kazaker. No! Sarah, Sarah, guess what? I forgot to tell you. I can't do it. You go, Sarah, Sarah, guess what? I forgot to tell you. Sarah, Sarah, guess what? I forgot to tell you. Sarah, Sarah, guess what? I forgot to Messed up on that one. Just hide. Just hide somewhere. somewhere. Hill, Billy. Mill the road. Come on, we gotta. We gotta go do up her. Yeah. I'll take a few. Oh. One, one, two. You know. <laughs> Don't film me. God, when is he gonna come? You're supposed to look at the watch. <laughs> You're supposed to look okay, at the watch. Okay, ready? One, two. God, when is he gonna <laughs> Okay, ready? One, two. Does that sound bad when I say God? No. Okay. Wow! Now that's more like it! Wait. Okay. I'm Ansley Field. And I'm Sarah Downs. Back to you guys in the studio! That was the day we were heard a lot! Thank you! Well, Menard, that's about it. Yeah, do that. <laughs> I'm ready or something like that, and then maybe hold on to her. Just like, no, why she's talking about that? Reality TV show called Pimp My Ride? Yeah, it's the one about a, that is. Ah! <laughs> Reality TV show called Pimp My Ride? Uh, Pimp My Ride? Wow, that was helpful. Whoa, that looks like a scary house.